make sure if you don't do anything else if you don't remember anything else that i'm telling y'all make sure that you let people know your boundaries up front what you're willing to accept and not accept what you won't continue to tolerate and so forth so forth if a person really wants to be in your life they will change they will not deflect and try to put things off on you as an excuse as to why things have been the way they have or why things are going the way that they are going make sure you set those boundaries up front so when time go by time go by and you see that things are not changing you can literally walk away with your head held high i've had to break some ties with some people make sure that you stand on business and make sure that you're not um just talking actually say what you mean and mean what you say that's how you set boundaries so you're not coming over my house past a certain time then if you end up letting them come over your house past a certain time then you're basically showing them that you're pretty much weak that you don't do what you say you're gonna do you don't say what you actually mean you just talk and it's kind of hard for people to take you serious i know for me i have been that person in the past but now i am actually standing on business if i say that i don't like a certain thing anymore you continue to do it then you're out the door if i say well i have an issue with this and you don't fix it well you're out the door as well People literally have all of these rules and stuff in place in order for you to stay in their life. But then as soon as you say, hey, well, why aren't things this way? Or, hey, I don't like this. Then they make you feel like you've done something wrong for wanting to set your boundaries. And that's not fair to you. People want you to treat them a certain way but then they don't want to reciprocate the same energy know what we're doing you need to match people's energy um you're not going to be over talking to anybody you're not going to be um over being generous when it comes to respect and disrespect people want you to respect them but then they can get away with disrespecting you people want to do the cheating but then they don't want you cheating on them so if you're an adult, it's best that you start making decisions on your own. That way you won't have to blame anybody when things don't go the way that you expect it. Once you take somebody's advice. And plus, everybody's advice is not good advice. And also, setting boundaries so that you won't allow somebody into your personal business. Like, no one should know 100% everything that you're going through i know we have friends we get on the phone and say girl this is what happened i need your advice but the fact of the matter is nobody should be that invested in your life and you shouldn't be that invested telling people about your life i have literally um just recently figured out that um i was one of those people and i'm going to change that uh, it's different if you're asking a question about, oh, should I take this class or that class? Should I pick these shoes or this shoes? But when you're going to people for like life-changing events that could be life-changing for you, you don't want to trust anybody with, I would say, that advice. The only person that you need to be trying to get advice from is God himself because he will show it to you. All you got to do is just pray and just talk to him. He will literally show it to you. Uh, it could be watching something on TV, running into somebody at a gas station, falling asleep. He coming to you in a dream or he's sending somebody in your dream. God does speak to you, but he speaks to you in his own way. And you have to be able to receive it and you have to be open. And you have to also come back and confirm because Satan also um it's through dreams through people he'll have us thinking that this right here is a good decision this right here is a person that's supposed to be in your life and they are really not so this is why it's very important to when you set those boundaries up front the person that's meant to be in your life will meet those um those those boundaries they won't cross them they will not cross those boundaries at all a distance they're just going to have to 
sit back and watch your, your blessings, your progress, your success from a distance. Also, people will make it seem like you'll be nothing without them because they were always giving you advice. And they are they always knew whatever was going on with you. So, in this season, you may have to cut some people off anyways because everybody is just not meant to go where you are going that doesn't necessarily say that they're bad people they probably have taught you some things over the years you probably have learned a lot from them but that doesn't mean that they're supposed to stay in your life in this season sometimes people only come into your life for a season whether that be one year two years three years four years five years but once you start changing and you start really setting your boundaries and your standards and what you want and what you don't want and if they're not willing to get with the program, you may just have to cut them off and don't feel bad for cutting them off and stand on business as to why you don't want to talk to them no more, as to why you don't want to be around them anymore. And it don't have to be no beef. It don't have to be no no love loss. You can love from a distance, but hey, you don't want to take them with you in your next season. Um, and a lot of times people are distractions anyways, because think about it. If you're not talking to nobody all day on the phone, you got so much time. But if you're investing your time on the phone around the wrong people, going here, going there, you're never going to achieve anything anyway. It's going to be hard and um, things are just not supposed to be hard. You know what I'm saying? Like hard versus impossible. It's hard, but it's not impossible. And that's one of the things that I have to work on myself. Like, and I'm doing what I can to get it done. Um, I know a lot of people they are so invested in my life that they are not seeing fast results, but that's fine because I'm in my life. I know what I have going on every day, all day, every second, every minute, every hour, every year. I see results. I see my change. I've had people tell me I haven't changed. I've had people tell me I wasn't on a healing journey. It's like, okay, you know, right? Because you got, you can sit up high, you can read my mind and you know my heart and everything. So definitely stay away from people that constantly wants to remind you that you ain't changed okay you gotta go because how you know okay like, how you know i ain't changed you ain't in my body you ain't in my skin you can't see what what so you definitely want to cut those people off um anything new in your life that you're working on if somebody try to downplay it like you ain't doing what you say you're doing or whatever the case is and you know for a fact that you're doing it those people got to go. Any new people that's coming into your life, that's why you need to set those boundaries up front. Because if you would have set those boundaries, if you would have set those boundaries up front, we wouldn't even be having this conversation right now. Okay. Yeah, people will make you feel bad for requesting certain things, for making them step it up and do whatever. But don't feel bad. Stand on business. Make your decision. And once you make that decision, do not change your mind. Hey, you didn't want to change for me. Obviously, you didn't want to be a part of my life. So, yeah. So, you're just going to have to sit back and watch the progress. from. But, yeah. People will make it seem like you'll be lost without them because they've been there for you. And you've always went to them when things got rough. And you've always taken their advice. Very, very serious. Don't make that delay your decision to not want to deal with them no more or whatever the case may be you'll be fine ain't nobody on this earth as powerful as god they may even wish bad upon you they may even put out to the universe that you'll be nothing without them or you'll be lost without them they may even talk about you behind your back but that's fine that's why you need to pray every day that those negative words that they're speaking over your life is not going to prosper because one thing for sure, when I was saying to get mad, I'm not saying like get mad and overreact or cause this big reaction. You need to get mad enough to want to change. Like, for example, me, I have gotten so tired of people talking down on me, talking about my finances, talking about struggles or whatever the case may be, that I'm really about to start buckling down. I won't be going to anybody for advice. I won't be going to, I won't be on the phone as much as I have been because i'm really about to be very very intentional with myself i want to come out a brand new person i don't need nobody trying to take credit for that so i gave you four years right i gave you three years i gave you a year or two or whatever the case may be but just know that when you see how successful i i really am gonna be and when they see how successful you really are going to be they won't take no credit for that at all they can't say oh it was me 
you know, talking to you, trying to direct you in the right direction, you know. And that's another thing why God does isolate us because people like to give the credit too much. And if you're giving human beings credit, God will never get the credit. And he becomes very angry and he will chastise you for that. And he will put you in a situation of isolation, but it'll be even harder for you to see what he's doing for you. And I really do think that this is like really and truly my isolation season where it's just, I need to just focus on work. I need to focus on what I have going on as far as like my classes and things like that. Being a better mother, um, there's no such thing as being a perfect mother, but I can say that I could be, I could definitely become a better mother in um, some areas. I could start meal prepping more, making sure they eat more vegetables. There's a lot of different things that I can do. Maybe get a little bit more patience because you're going to be having no patience. And there's something, oh y'all, I'm sorry, my, my phone is a little, my bad y'all. I didn't realize my phone was like that. But yeah, so there is some things that you can do to change too, that you need to learn how to do on your own. Your life is your life. And a lot of times we go to older people for advice, not telling you not to do that. Sometimes that's a good thing, but sometimes that's a bad thing. What I'm seeing now is like um, a lot of, and I just seen some girls talking about this on TikTok. A lot of older people feel like they've missed out on opportunities and they'll try to live through the younger generation. So what they'll do is they'll give you advice as of what they should have done when they were your age. So no shade to any older person watching this video at all because I have de I love going to older people for advice. But sometimes it's just best for you to take your own advice and just really just seek and pray and ask God for those answers. Because to be honest with you, even if you're a bright, smart person, you don't know every single thing. You can't read a person's mind. We can only just sit here and take a guess. We don't know what people are thinking. We don't know their real intentions. All we know is that the only person that 100% do know those people's intentions is God himself because he's sitting high, he's looking low. He knows every thoughts. He knows everything. He knows everything we've did in secret. He knows who's real, who's fake all of that so anyways um, um just be intentional with who you want in your life when you have to move people out of your life doesn't mean that you dislike them doesn't mean that you hate them doesn't mean that you think that they're a bad person it's just that they're not headed in the same direction as you you know and now it's time for you to put your big girl panties on put your big boy boxes on and and really just get it done yourself this is your season to change you're on the healing journey you're on the spiritual journey you don't need nobody taking credit for doing anything that means that they can you can only say thank you for so long but after you've cut those ties after you set those boundaries they didn't want to follow now you can really give all praises to the almighty high